Hi everyone, it's Muriel. Welcome back. So I am still on the Valentine embellishment train and I wanted to show you guys what I made, but I have a small haul that I did yesterday. Um, not any scrapbook related uh, items, but for packaging of my Happy Mail. Um, and then me and my daughter wanted to see if there was anything else we needed for our decorating our desks. So I did go to Michael's. I had to buy this bag, 99 cents, but really nice. And I also had two rewards, which was perfect. So one of the things that I bought using my reward and using three gift cards that I had gotten for uh, Christmas and my birthday, I bought one of those mod modular, modular um, cabinet towers. I, I already had one. And then they had them on sale yesterday. It's $59. It has, um, I think it has like six drawers to it. So um, I bought one of those. It's downstairs. I didn't pay anything. I used the gift cards. It worked out perfect. So I picked up that. And then I was looking for some things um, to help with packaging some Happy Mail. So what I got was, uh, I, I, I know what I was looking for. And, and I guess this is kind of sort of it. This is pre-cut parchment paper. I have some candy boxes that I wanted to wrap up. I just don't want them to be in the box where you can just see them. I kind of want them wrapped. And these papers here are pre-cut, which are perfect. And I took one out and it's perfect size. So um, I'll show how I uh, wrap it up and I'm gonna kind of decorate the uh, box. So I was excited about that. And I think Michael's right now 40% off. So which was bad. This is I don't even remember what this, how much this cost, but it wasn't expensive. In case I picked up this, um, my daughter found this uh, for decorating her um, cubicle and it lights up. Look how cute that is. So we're gonna have fun decorating our desks. I picked up some packing, packaging tape, shipping tape. It has hearts all on it. Like I said, I'm sending out some packages, so I want things to look very Valentine'sy. And then I think I got this at the Dollar Tree. I think they popped in there um, some paper. And that was all I got there. And then back to Michael's, I found these foam squares. I think I saw these on someone's channel. They're packing foam. Adorable. And I know for a fact that whomever I gift these to, put them in their tote bags, they're not going to throw these away. They're going to use these as decorations for their desks why not right so so cute so um okay so i got those and then back to target because we did go to target we we got up yesterday morning and was just all over the place um i had purchased i, I follow a lot of uh women on their home decor channels and one of which i watched yesterday she showed she purchased it on amazon these elastic bands that you wrap around your sheets so if you have a set of queen sheets you can put the top the fitted and the pillowcases stack them fold them stack them all together and you use these elastic bands to keep them all together that's a big pro and my saw that i thought oh my goodness that's what i need because my bed is queen my daughter's is full and once those sheets get stacked up in the linen closet i can't tell you whose is whose so it ends up pulling it all down. Sometimes they're not all together just to realize that this sheet's not going to fit my bed. This is for her bed. So anyway, she showed them to me on Amazon and I went ahead and bought a queen and a full set and they were $7.99 each. So when I tell my sister this the other day, she says, oh yeah, they had those at the dollar spot, the bullseye spot at Target. And I go in there yesterday and here they go and they are a dollar. You know, I was hot. I was hot. One dollar. And, and I'm waiting for these to come from Amazon that are $7.99 each. So this will fit a queen or full. So it's perfect. And you see how they stack them up and then you just put the band around them. And then you can tell. I can just peek up there going, okay, nope, that's not mine. However, queen full is still confusing, right? Because... Which one is it? Is it mine or is it hers? So, um, I got a plan to, um, you know, when it's her, when it's mine, it's going to look like this. When it's hers, it's going to look like that. So, I'm going to either wipe that out or something. But I thought for a dollar because I have probably six sets of my own and she probably has four. We have too many 
sets of sheets in the house. But anyway, I got that. So I was excited about that. And then I saw in Michael's, I started browsing, just looking to see what was out there. Of course, I have been watching you guys' channels as well. And um, um, there was a um, subscriber who, um, Poochie Tats, love watching her. She's hilarious. She had bought some embellishments, heart shape embellishments, and recreated them. And, you know, I'm like, I agree with her. I'm the queen of that. If I see it, and if I have the same items in my stash, I take a picture of it, and I will come home, and I will recreate it. Well, that's what I did yesterday. I saw these at Michael's, the mini envelopes with the happy uh, Valentine's Day stamp. And I kept thinking, do I have a Valentine's stamp? I do. I have this happy Valentine's Day. And then uh, keeping along with using things in my stash, I thought I would put some conversation hearts on mine. And use this other stamp that I have of the heart and arrow. So, how cute are these? And this is just some paper. Uh, this is actually some Easter paper that I picked up last year. Pastel colors right? So I use the pink and the lavender and then some other pink in my stash, some hotter pink. So very cute. And then I also um, added a little uh, gold thread behind the card. So I thought these were adorable. So I wanted to show you um, how to make them if you uh, choose to. So I am using the envelope punch board, the mini one. And where is it? Um, okay, here's the case that it's in. Where is the, the little board at so I can show you guys? Oh my goodness. Well, here is the size. I can't believe that this desk, of course, you know, you know this desk is a hot mess. Here we go. So I'm using the mini, I guess they call it mini, yeah, the mini envelope punch board. And I am using the one by one... You know, I need to write, we are memory keepers, and tell them. You cannot put uh, light green ink on cream. It doesn't work. So this is the one and one quarter, one, one and a half, one and one and a half inch uh, envelope. So if you have that, it's the second one there in the dark green. And that's something I have to bring out my bifocals. Okay, so this is what I used, and the size is uh, two and three eighths that you're gonna cut your paper, two and three eighths by two and three eighths, and you're gonna score at one and three eighths. And when you do, you get this cute little envelope. So let's go ahead and score these sides. So um, I've made many envelopes in the past, and that was on my list to do. So when I saw these yesterday, I thought, oh yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That's how I'm gonna do it. I knew I was gonna make mini envelopes, but I didn't know how they were gonna be done. So, fold it up like this. Then I have some red tape, red line tape, that I'm going to put on this end here. And then this side here. So today's the last day of my vacation. I am loving all that I've gotten done this, this week. So loving it. Okay, move out the way. Okay. So, I'm gonna varnish that so that when I, it'll be easier to peel up. Then I've been using some of this gold thread to put behind the um, message. So what I like to do is just put a little tape like that, take this here, and just roll quite a bit on my fingers. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut. This stuff is like wild. It's, you know, you can barely feel it. Okay, so I have a nice little bunch here. I'm just gonna kinda press it together. And then I'm going to place it down on that tape.
just like that. And then um, let's get my pokey tool. And oh, and I'm making some pokey pins. Pokey pins? No, some beaded beaded pins. <laughs> um, but I need to um, go to Michael's or either Joanne to pick up one other component. And I'm going to um, make several of those because that'd be a sweet gift for someone. I think for Valentine's Day, especially in the work. Goodness. See, that's why you have to press this red tape down because sometimes it's not easy to come up. I think they'll get a kick out of it to use it, um, you know, in the month of February. The pin that's all beaded and beauty beautiful. Okay, so, and this is going to be like popping all in your way, but that's fine. Get up. So now I'm going to just kind of close the envelope. Again, varnish it so that it stays and it doesn't pop open. Okay, then I took a punch. Here is the stamp that I'm using. Happy Valentine's Day. And I'm using this one here. So I'm going to ink this one up. I guess when I first started, I didn't even think to use that stamp. You can see on the first ones. They look like this. But then once I added that arrow, it just added a little bit more ump to it. So I'm going to stamp it here. And I want it at an angle because I like the heart at an angle. So I think, and hopefully that will, that's the problem with wooden stamps. You can't see where you're stamping at, right? You just, it's all about a guess. And of course, there's ink down there. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and these are just one inch, one and a half inch punch that I stamped first. I just stamped a bunch of them on paper and then I cut them out, right? Because then that's a little bit easier. So we're gonna put some glue on the back, just uh, from the bottom and halfway up. Okay, get my little envelope, pucker it so that it opens up and then I'm going to fit that inside. I wanna be able to see the word day and I also want to see the top of the envelope. Goodness, I got ink there too. I'm gonna have to uh, clean that up. I don't know how, but I will. Okay, then I have the conversation hearts that I've had for quite some time and um, I'm tired of looking at them. So I'm gonna use one of them, put a little ink on the back here and then press that over that heart. Who is calling me? Um, looks like I need a lavender pen because I do wanna cover that up. Ugh, let's see. That's going to be dark. We don't want that one. So I'm going to find a nice light lavender pen and cover up the ink there. But basically, that is the gist of these envelopes. I think they're adorable. And like I said, I've made a ton. So I'm going to have fun packaging them up and getting them out. And these you can use on whatever. You can put them on top of a, or a recreated heart. You can even put them on top of, okay, let's see here. Here's one on top of a heart. Cute that does, does that look. Or as I made the envelopes yesterday, you can put one, well, the envelope on the envelope, that's not gonna work. So, um, oh, here is a, that's too small. So. Look how it looks behind the pink, but that's that's too small. I got I got felt hearts for days. I just got them all stacked here because as I see them, I use them. But I hope you guys try these. They are so sweet. The smaller they are, the cuter they are. And um, I'm just glad that I got that inspiration and didn't have to purchase anything uh, at Michael's, um, any of the in, in, uh, embellishments because I just have fun making them on my own. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.